Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be uh, creating or adding damage to our AI. So we're going to be able, when we shoot, we're going to cause damage. And then obviously our characters are going to die. And I'm going to also be creating um, a, sp a respawning system. So let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to handle our companion AI. So as we got over here, uh, we've got um, where we fire at the target. And over here, we get what damage we do, obviously because our companion AI is only one AI. We're going to make him do more damage than the others. So I'm probably just going to say make 25 damage. And then uh, we're going to handle uh, it's respawning. So oh, let me see. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to call an event that is um, already that already comes with Unreal Engine. That is an event any damage. And when this is called, uh, basically when we do this node, apply damage, basically this um, this little function here is going to call this event, and then we're going to do some stuff with our damage. So first of all, I'm going to create our health variable. So I create a new variable, call it health, make that a float. And because we are on our companion AI, I'm going to want to make it more buff. So I'm going to make it, um, let's say 200 health. Then this is very simple, we go into our health, we do a minus uh, and the damage that, uh, you know, the damage that we took and then we're going to set our health value to this um, new health that we're going to get after we get shot. And then after this, we're going to do a branch and I'm just going to check, well, is the health minus or equal to zero? If it is, it means that we are dead, so we want to respawn. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new uh, spawn actor from class node. And uh, the class I want to spawn is our companion AI. And our spawn transform, I'm just going to get the player character. Um, I'm going to get the actor location. Location. And I'm going to get a random a random point, uh, let's say in radius, random point, I guess it's this, I don't think it is, well let me just, now we can get a random point, reachable point in radius, there you go, and our radius is going to be, let's say, we to spawn around 300, uh, 3 meters around the player, Obviously, you can make this whatever you want. I'm just going to convert this uh, to a transform and I'm going to spawn that. And everything else should be automatic. Now, we're basically going to do the same thing to our um, enemy AI. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to control C this. Go into the enemy AI, find an empty space. It can be up here. I'm going to paste this and I'm going to right click on the alt variable. I'm going to create this variable. And I'm going to compile and I'm going to set its default value to 100. And I'm also going to go to where uh, we fire out our target. And when we apply the damage, I'm going to say it is 10. So they make less damage to our character because we're going to be facing a lot of, um, you know, AIs. And I just want to change something over here is basically I do not want to spawn a companion AI. I want to spawn a um, enemy AI. And I'm basically going to want to spawn this, let's say, um, 10 meters around the player. Now, if we compile and save this, we should be able to test this out. Let's play and see what happens. So, let's uh, get off the range of the, play, the, um, the enemy AI. So after a few shots, there you go. Oh, I forgot to do something. Um, I need to go into our, when we do the event damage, after we spawn, I want to destroy the actor. And let's also do the same thing on our companion AI. Because we need to destroy the actor that died. So we won't get like, um, you know, we start adding and piling up enemies. 
uh, we want to when the elder reach zero we want to destroy the you know the person that got killed we want to remove that actor from the game so let's test this out so they're going to be shooting at them so that AI is going to die the new one is going to respawn so the things get updated and now the weird thing is that AI because they spawn backwards they did not detect us and they it doesn't have a target really so now I can do is I can move uh, away there you go that guy got detected and I'm being shot at from that side and you can see that new AIs are being spawned and they are dying and respawning now obviously because the map is small and like there's really not much cover what we'll do normally is that we would pick up our enemy AIs and instead of spawning them and as you can see our companion AI just respawned and instead of like um, having our enemies AI spawning so close to us we would like spawn them far away and then they kind of you know be around but you know uh, the, the example this is just an example map so it's quite small but you can see everything working. Our AI is obviously must, m uh, much more buffed than the enemies. They get easily killed. That's interesting. There you go. Okay. As you can see, our companion AI just got respawned. And once we got fired on, he's going to acquire a new target. Now, I probably just want to do something else. Is that I want to make the character... Um, maybe moving because now there's no enemies over here and he is not reaching to my position let me just see the errors okay that's because it's in in the vintec doesn't matter but what we want to do is we want to make uh we want to make our own companion ai to move towards us when we get far away And I think the problem is when we uh, when we have a target, these true fires and nothing else gets executed really. So I'm gonna go over to the true on the branch, like on the even begin play, and I'm just gonna add a delay of 0.2 seconds so we continually check. I'm just gonna put I don't know two seconds over here and recheck this branch if this is true, because we want to make to enable the the AI to follow us again once he doesn't have any more targets. So let's see how that works out. So now he has a target, he's going to be firing at him. Okay, there you go. That guy's going to die. He's going to be killing that one. Oh, actually, I need to get away. There you go. I'm actually waiting for a companion I do not have a target anymore. Oh, our companion I just respawned. There you go. As you can see, when he doesn't have a target, he kind of moves for a second. Uh, like, on the interval when the enemies don't fire at me and he actually doesn't have a target anymore, he's going to be trying to follow me. But once the enemy shoot at me back, uh, he's going to acquire a target and he's going to stop moving. Okay, you can see it happening. Okay, now that we don't have a target, I can now move away. Oh, he got the targets there. Okay. Obviously, as I said, the map is a little bit too small, like for this to look good. But the, the actual logic works pretty fine. And you can see, while the other bots do not shoot at me, the RAI will ignore them. Because the, they only we only want to engage them if they engage us, as I said in the previous videos. And once the AI uh, does not have like enemies shooting at me... Oh, that's weird. For a moment, he didn't detect us. But uh, when the AI doesn't have a target, he's going to follow us back. That's exactly what we want. I may in the future like create a level that is like more, I don't know. I'm probably going to make that the next video. I'm going to create a new level and like uh, maybe create some actual spawn points for the enemy AI to respawn. So we can make like, um, I don't know, like a hallway, like of um, a big hallway and like a house or something that has like obstacles and like it's, you know, we have a big space to, to test this thing around because right now it's a little bit, you know, not optimal. 
and it doesn't look that good but yeah uh, that's what i'm going to be doing in the next video i think uh so yeah this is gonna be it for this video it's kind of short but you know i got everything done that i wanted these errors are kind of that thing on the event tick it doesn't really matter there so yeah uh if you guys have any suggestions or anything leave them in the comments any doubts and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye